Hello guys, welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to do the most basic Christmas tag on YouTube. I'm going to do the Holly Jolly Christmas tag. I didn't know what kind of video I wanted to film but I did want to make some kind of Christmas themed video. Um, at first I didn't want to do this tag because it's like so basic and every single YouTuber makes this tag every single year. But on the other hand, I did a Christmas tag every single year since 2015 and I don't want to skip a year. So, I'm just going to do it and I'm just going to answer some nice Christmas questions. I'm excited. So I'm really, really tired and I look like shit because I had a Christmas brunch uh, at school with my class and my teachers and stuff and it was a lot of fun but it was absolutely exhausting. So I'm uh, like really, really tired but I'm still alive. If I suddenly forget how to speak English, that's why. <laughs> Let's just get started before I make an intro that's like 10 minutes long. First question, favorite Christmas movie? I love Charles Dickens and I love the Christmas Carol so I love all the Christmas Carol movies you know but I think my favorite Christmas Carol movie is the Muppet Christmas Carol. I love the Muppets, I love Christmas Carol and that combination is just perfect. <laughs> and I love the How the Green Stalk Christmas, it's absolutely one of my favorite movies ever. Are you on the naughty or the, on the nice list? Damn it, I can't pronounce. Are you on the naughty or the nice list? I'm probably on the naughty list because I am. It sounds so wrong to say I'm naughty, but I wouldn't consider me to be the nicest person. I think I wouldn't be only naughty. Have you ever had a worst Christmas? Yes, I did. And it was one of the Christmases in the Efteling, actually. The Efteling is a Dutch theme park and we always go there. And that's such a beautiful amusement park. It's all fairy tale themed and stuff and it's beautiful and when it snows it's even more like there is no better christmas than spending a white christmas in the afternoon do you start your christmas shopping on black friday or wait until last minute i mostly wait until last minute because black friday is at the end of the month at the end of the month i'm running out of money also, I'm not really a big shopping fan. I don't like to go into really crowded and busy shopping streets, you know. It's not really my thing. So I try to dread it until the last moment and I'm like, oh yeah, proud me for procrastinating this again. And then like one day before Christmas, I'm like, oh wait, I should have bought some Christmas presents maybe. If you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? I would adore to play the Grinch and how the Grinch stole Christmas like uh, the Jim Carrey version I would like to play Jim Carrey's character oh god yes name all of Santa's reindeer okay I don't know if anyone knows this song but you got Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer that's yeah everyone knows that song but I don't know if anyone knows the Bing Crosby version I got that on final and I played that record a lot of times and they sum up all the names so I should know this one but I am um, quite sure I won't be able <laughs> to name them all well, Rudolph, Blitzen, Prancer, Dancer, Comet, Cupid... I have no idea. When does your family put up the Christmas tree and who decorates it? We mostly put it up quite early, mostly in the first week of December or the last week of November. Mostly my mum does it and I have my own Christmas tree. This is my room and this is my own Christmas tree. Very extra, I know. Um, but I decorated myself and this year I waited until I believe the third week of December, which is very, very late for me because normally I put it up somewhere early November. November. <laughs> is your Christmas tree real or fake? Well certainly mine is fake because it's quite hard to drag a real one up the stairs all the way to here and then like all the needles that fall out that just wouldn't really work but I would want to have a real one I think that would be so amazing but for now it's still a fake one. <laughs> Peeking at gifts or be sub sub surprised apparently that's very hard to pronounce i always know what i'm gonna get for christmas but that's more like a personal thing because i'm autistic and i can't handle su surprises very well i find it very hard to act surprised and really happy when i see i've got something that i don't really like and of course that isn't fun in front of my mom to be like oh i don't really like this to uh, avoid those kind of situations my mom always exactly buys what on, what's on my christmas list show us your ugly christmas sweater if you have one wait a minute yes 
And that was my gross, ugly Christmas sweater. It's so ugly. I'm like, it's not ugly. It's not ugly. It's just really, really wrong, you know? It's like, just stop calling it ugly Christmas sweaters because they're not ugly. I mean, look at it. How cute. And I feel so huggable in these. If you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? I do have someone in mind, but I'm not going to say his name. I mean, you've got to have your little secrets. Does your family have this special holiday recipe you like to help make? We don't really have, but like on New Year's Eve, it's a tradition in the Netherlands that we make like oil bowls. That's the direct translation, but it sounds so bad. Um, but we call it olieboller, and that's like something very Dutch, I believe. Are you a pro present rapper or do you feel miserably? Uh, yesterday evening I had to rep a present for one of my teachers and <laughs> oh my goodness it was such a torture I can't rep presents like I'm wearing an ugly Christmas sweater and I'm thinking I have an ugly Christmas mug and I really want to bring it on and just put it in the video but then I need to go downstairs and I'm way too lazy to do that I'm going to do it. You don't know how much effort it took me to get that freaking mug here but here it is <laughs> yesterday I had soup in it. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought um, because soup stains pretty badly um, I discovered oh and there is mm, some delicious hot milk in it have you ever gone Christmas caroling I don't think so no I didn't what tops your tree I will insert a picture because you, you can't see it exactly but uh, it's a like an original tree topper but then in like the shape of a center which is very cute do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them i don't really make new year's resolutions because i think that's the biggest bullshit ever if you want to get started with something why don't you just get started at the minute why wait for new year if you can just do it what is your favorite christmas song Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas. Thank God it's Christmas. Well, that was the video. I answered all the questions that were on the list and it got me really excited for Christmas and it's, it's good to have a Christmas video up, you know. And don't forget to put your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I see you later. Whoa. And I hope to see you later. Goodbye.